powering on. What is up, people? Uh, it is me, Iconic Jesse Icon here, making a short video clip of Honor Hunter C15. Uh, yeah, so intro, I just learned something special about my headset that I've been using. Uh, basically, is it if I turn on the headset flies when you're while I'm in the middle of a gameplay clip, I can actually start recording later on, which is really nice, actually, because I thought I was going to have to uninstall the app itself again, even though I already uninstalled it. So I just was trying something a little bit different and it actually ended up working out. So that's awesome. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so uh, just uh, getting further in the story now, I'm actually going into a storyline. This actually completes uh, two chapters. So I'm going to be completing two chapters in um, the next few gameplay clips that I make. Uh, it's, there's a lot of uh, story that goes on uh, in chapter nine. So you actually can't go and free roam in chapter nine at all. You're just kind of stuck in a city. So uh, we're we're going to uh, basically a city across from this across the sea where Princess Luna Fey lives, and we're gonna go um, try to talk to her for a little bit. But it ends up not being a uh, very good talk because, well, you'll see in the next upcoming clips what kind of happens. Um, the Leviathan kind of gets waking up, uh, woken up. And anyways, there's a there's a cool scene coming up where you actually get to go in the boat and start sailing across the sea. So I I really do enjoy that. Um, I don't know if I just get the first part of it or if it's uh, later on, but the you basically have to say goodbye to everyone. Uh, so that's what this next theme kind of is, is just you saying goodbye to everyone and telling you're going you to find uh, this is Luna Faye. I guess it's goodbye for now. You talk to the marshal for a little bit right here in this scene. Um, basically, so that's your father's um, crew that? or whatever. Your father's uh, bodyguards and him when he went to I'm go sorry. adventure when he was younger. Sorry, so, I wasn't there. It's for pretty your like father. it's all like a lineage type of thing. I swore an oath to protect this, the king. This guy must be like I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. Must be Gladio, kind of. He must be like the Gladio character for uh, and the king, nobody the father. That must happened. be like uh, yeah. I realized uh, that. But you need to realize. I must be. Prompt. Your side. It must be kind of like prompt. I I would have to say from his father's party you that really he went around in. Just a touchy moment here, but with Sid. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Yep, my brothers. Where are all my brothers at? Why are you watching my videos? Why are we playing games? Where did I go so wrong? All my friends are dead. You can never have Push too many tools. Edge. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. You get a cool little magic, uh... flask. This is the ship I was talking about. Um, this thing's a beast. This is like you, you always have the most expensive things in this game. It's awesome. Dude, that ship looks like costs like millions of dollars. Same with the car. Easily worth millions of dollars. The ship and that car. Buy it, they're probably worth like three million dollars. Come back soon. We need our kids. But that's how the prince goes. Yeah. He rolls in style. Count on it. Touching good farewell. I pr Prince knocked his. Oh yeah, I also changed into the Assassin's Creed uh, robes as my uh, main outfit. I changed uh, Noctis into those robes, so he looks more BA. Uh, I'm getting all my characters up to level 40. I ca they kind of uh, the leveling kind of got all screwed up uh, for so it's not the same for everyone. 
a little bit because uh, one of my party members died, I think. Um, while there was an XP, like, I, we got XP from an enemy, but, like, one of my characters was dead. So, like, you definitely want to watch out for that when you're playing through this game. It, like, oh, man. Don't even get me started. There's enemies that are super, super hard to defeat. So, you have to make sure all your party members are staying alive. I think potions are the main thing. Like, make sure everyone's getting a potion in your party when they're taking damage. And make sure you're using your Phoenix Downs. I always keep, like, about 80 of each type of potion on me. So, like, I'm ready to heal my enemy, or heal my partners when, like, we're in a battle and everything. I say like a lot. I have noticed that in one of my other videos that I said like, like, 20 times, 20 or 25 times. I'm like, damn, I need to, like, stop saying that. I just said it again, too. It's just kind of, like, hard. It's just natural, like, Thing when there's a pause, I use the word like for some reason. Day arrives, <laughs> but alas, without the bride. So this is this is in case, brother. We've come He's the, the and you've got to commander of the military. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. Guys, bad news bears. This is the latest scene, what kind of happens between that dude I've always wanted that to like this. Hey, but living in insomnia. I can't wait till we get to that scene, because then that means that I'm almost at the end of posting clips. Which is, means I have to make more content, and that's my favorite part of playing video games, is making more content. I mean, not that making, uh, posting content isn't fun, it's just, it gets kind of tedious at times. They've been through a lot. So, especially because I, I almost have as many videos on my YouTube channel as Google has on their main channel. Google has uh, 1,978 videos, and I have 1,628 videos. So I'm like 300 videos away from getting as many videos out as Google itself has for their uh, YouTube channel page. It's kind of crazy, if you ask me. I'm sure other people have 2,000, 3,000 videos on their YouTube channel. But you know, like I said, I've been growing this for a while now. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Luna Freya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time. Kings Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. Wait, this was that guy with the white hair that's going to be leading the army against the Leviathan. Have acquired new power. Power? That power. would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, yeah, what the hell? his strength did seem sort of... Supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. <laughs> his ancestry may be part of it. But that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. Well, anyways, uh, I hope you liked this video. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.